Hi guys, my name is Siar Bahadurzada. I'm a Valve MMA head coach, and this is Kyusan Kim, my student. And today we're going to show you uh, how to set up leg kicks, okay? Uh, whether it's MMA or whether it's kickboxing, we're going to explain to you how to set up uh, leg kicks, how not to do the leg kicks, and we're going to show you the leg kicks from the outside, outside leg kicks, inside leg kicks. So uh, let's start. First, we're going to start with uh, showing you a proper leg kick, how to throw a proper leg kick. So uh, if, um, if Kim is my opponent and he's standing uh, with both uh, orthodox, and uh, from here, if I want to throw a proper leg kick, uh, well, the idea behind throwing a proper leg kick, I mean, is that you inflict damage, right? Otherwise, throwing a leg kick um, could be pretty risky if you don't do it the right way. So uh, with throwing it the right way, I mean that you're out of this, out of danger when you throw the leg kick, right? So that's the whole point to hit and not get hit in fight sports. So what I'm going to show first is uh, how to do a, a leg kick right, and then uh, how not to do it, and then we're going to show you a few setups how to do the leg kick the right way. So the first the outside leg kick is we're going to start from here, right stance, jab, and with, with my lead leg, I step outside, and then I throw the leg kick, okay? Jab, and then leg kick, okay? One more time, jab, and leg kick. Now, it's very important, guys, that when you land a leg kick, when you throw a leg kick, that you land it with this part of your shin, okay? It's super important that you land it with, uh, with your shin. If you don't land it with your shin, and you land it with your foot, it could hurt you, and it could uh, affect your fight, your movement, your foot movement, um, your timing, you know, you're not going to be comfortable in the fight. So it's very important that when you guys throw a leg kick, jab, step outside, and leg kick. Now, why do I step outside? If I don't step outside, I will be in his center line. And with that I mean, if I don't cross the center line, his right hand is going to be ready to counter me, okay? So I jab with this leg. I step outside, and then I land my leg kick. Again, jab, step outside, and leg kick. As you just saw, when Kim throws the right cross, I'm not here, my head is here. I'm safe, okay? One more time, jab, and back. Now. First, it's important that you kick with this part of your shin. Number two, it's super important that you kick the same spot, okay? Don't kick one time here, one time here, and one time here, because he can take it. If you can throw three leg kicks at the same spot, you're going to see a significant difference in his movement, significant difference right away. But if you three, throw three leg kick, one leg kick here, one here, and one here, he can take nine before you see any difference in his way of fighting or his movements. Again, it's super important that when you leg kick, that you're accurate. And how can you be accurate? Is to keep your leg muscles loose. A lot of people keep their legs stiff or kick with a stiff leg. Yeah, when your leg muscles are stiff, you lose accuracy. It's a known fact that when you, also with punching, if your shoulders are stiff and throw punches, you, you miss on accuracy. You um, give away your accuracy. So it's super important that when you kick, your leg muscles are loose. And the, the, the weight of your leg is going to come down, okay? It's not leg kick like this, it's from up, down. One more time. And back. Okay, so now, now we have the leg kick. I showed you how to throw a leg kick. Um, and now it's time that I show you guys how not to throw a leg kick. And as you guys see the fights, the MMA fights uh, all around the world, um, you see a lot of people getting caught with a counter when they throw a leg kick, right? So uh, it's not that leg kicks are not safe. It's how you throw them. It's important that you, when you guys throw a leg kick, that you guys don't do this. 
So, if I am to throw a leg kick, and I just step in and throw a leg kick, I'm in the center line. He's going to counter me. And he, when, 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 when he counters me with the right cross, me coming in, the effect of a sponge is times three, four, because it's like a train crash. I come forward, and he times me with the right cross. Now, a lot of people take the leg kick, and they come in and counter you with the right cross, and a lot of people get knocked out. So make sure when you leg kick that you don't step in, okay? As you step in, he's going to counter you. Okay? Another thing, a lot of people don't distract before they throw a leg kick. Okay? And this is going to take us to the next part where I tell you guys how to set up properly throwing a leg kick. So don't step in and throw a leg kick because he's going to counter you. That's something that you should avoid at all times. The next one is how to properly set up a leg kick. Now, if you, if you want to set up a leg kick, in order to set up your leg kick, you have to distract them. And what distractions do with people, it misses their coordination. It misses their plan in their head of, you, of countering you, okay? Anytime you mess up somebody's coordination, you, they become hesitant and they, they cannot react the same way that they react if they're focused, right? Makes sense. If he's focused, he can react faster. But he, if he's distracted, it's gonna take a split second for him to regain his focus and then attack. And that split second, you're gonna be out, okay? We use that split second. Fight game is about split seconds, okay? This is a game of split seconds. If we don't take that split second, he's going to take advantage of my kick and counter me. So, in our mind, we want to throw a leg kick, but first we have to distract this guy, okay? Two ways to distract him. Now, when you throw a leg kick, if he's standing on his leg with his weight on his lead leg or with his weight on the center, this leg kick is gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt for sure. But if I get this guy to back up and then throw the same leg kick, the leg kick is gonna be three, four times harder because his legs muscles are gonna be loose. And when that powerful kick hits them on the loose muscles, it's gonna hurt them more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw a one, two and then land the same leg kick. But watch my leg, where I step out. I don't step in, again, I step out. So, I'm gonna throw a one, two, and then, to the, move a little backwards. So I'm gonna throw a one, two, and then, as he pulls his leg back to get away from my punches, that's when your leg kick lands. And that's when his leg is in the air and the muscles are loose. That hurts. Try it in the gym and see how that feels. Again. I'm gonna throw a one, two, he backs up, and I'm gonna throw the leg kick. One, two, see, as he backs up, I throw the leg kick. Now, that being said, that's going forward, right? If you put someone on the back leg, and you attack him, you push him back, his legs come from the, from the ground, and then you land your leg kick. The second one is, the second one is, just a jab, left hook, right? But we do a side shuffle this time. Why do we do a side shuffle? If I do a jab, left hook, and I go in, he's going to counter me. What we're going to do is jab, left hook, I step out with my leg, and then I take out his leg from, from an angle. Okay, one more time. Jab, left hook. With left hook, the jab and left hook is not a significant strike. It's not a strike to hurt him. It's a strike to distract him. Your main um, objective is to hurt his leg, okay? So, we do a jab with left hook, I step out, and then I kick his leg, okay? One more time. Jab, left hook, and then I kick his leg. As you see, when I create this angle on him and I kick him, I'm far away from his right hand. Okay, and he um, and I'm far away from his any type of a strike to be countered right away. And after kicking him, kicking is just a start. Okay, um, like I explained to my students, when you when you attack and you put someone in a bad position and you hit him once, that's the start of 
throwing a whole series of punches and kicks. That's how you take advantage of the moment. Because as I kick him, he's out of balance. It takes for him a second to get his balance back. And that one second I can use to land two, three strikes. Right? So we're here. Jab, left hook, leg kick. And from here, from here, as I, as I land the leg kick and I come back, from here, I can do a hook, I can do an uppercut, hook, or do a takedown. It depends what you prefer. I always prefer when I take somebody's leg out, he's out of balance, I do a two, three punch combination for the good measure. Now, I showed you guys how to throw a proper leg kick, and then I explained how not to throw a leg kick for getting countered. And the third one uh, was how to do it properly, how to properly set up a leg kick. So we showed, I showed you once moving out and uh, crossing his center line to this side, and one time crossing his center line to this side. Now, which brings us to the inside, to the inside leg kick. Now we covered all aspects of the outside leg kick, right? So now we do the inside leg kick. The inside leg kick is a little bit different than the outside leg kick. The kick is different. The timing and momentum and everything is different. Now, if he stands in front of me and I want to kick his outside, inside leg kick, give him an inside leg kick, first I'm going to show you guys how to throw a proper inside leg kick, okay? We're here. If I want to hurt him, which is my intention, that's why I throw a leg kick. I step out, contra step with this leg outside. Why? Because I want as far away from his right hand as possible. Because that's his money making hand, that's a strong hand, so I want to avoid getting punched with that hand. So as I'm here, first I'm going to show you guys the proper way of throwing it, then I'm going to show you guys how not to do it, and then the setups like we did with the outside leg kick. So the first one, I step out, and I kick this part of his leg, okay? I do not kick this part. Sometimes you see people kick here and they misjudge the distance and they kick in the cup. And a lot of time fighters get hurt and they, there's a two, three minutes break. And in those two, three minutes break, guys, fight can go either way. If he's tired, he will need that, those two, three minutes to regain his exposure, to regain his strength and come back. And then the fight is 50-50, right? So make sure when you throw an inside leg kick, you're accurate. Again, accuracy is super important. Keep your leg muscles loose. We're here. I step out and I throw the leg kick right in this spot. Okay? Now, how not to throw an inside leg kick? It's important, guys, that when you throw an inside leg kick, again, that you don't step here. Okay? Don't step in here and throw a leg kick. Even if I, if I get him out of balance, his right cross is going to catch me. Okay? Again, over here, if I inst step in and throw a leg kick, he's going to catch me. If he doesn't catch me with this, he's going to catch me with the left hook afterwards. So, don't do this. Don't step in and leg kick, because he's going to catch me. Now, how to set up an inside leg kick? I personally like to set up an inside leg kick with a right cross. Why, why I like it with a right cross? Because with a right cross, when I, when I do a right cross, after the right cross, I step out and throw the leg kick, okay? With the right cross, I distract him. And then I step out and kick. So again, right cross, step out and kick, okay? One more time. Right cross, step out and kick. Now, when you do this kick, as you see, uh, I'm not taking hard, hopefully. When you do this kick, you take away his leg from here all the way here. So this means he's out of balance, right? If you're a wrestler, from there you can do a shoot and take him down. But if you see him being in this position, I would personally attack his face because he's in a terrible position, right? From here, you can do a punch combination, I would, prefer, I would prefer from here, right cross, step out. From here, I can go in with a, with a right uppercut, right? Depending on the distance. But if he's a little bit further, you don't have, and you cannot reach him with an uppercut, you can easily go with a one-two. From here, I do inside leg kick, one-two. So again, guys, when you distract him, you step out, you kick, 
and he's out of balance, take advantage of it, right? So as you step out, you kick the inside leg, he's out of balance, depending on his distance, you can go with an uppercut or with a one-two. They both work perfectly. So um, one more time, guys, the inside leg kick, I showed you guys how to throw it. We step out, we step out and throw it. The accuracy that I was talking about, it's super important that you guys land the leg kick in this spot over and over and over again. Three or four good leg kicks on this spot is going to take out this movement. Again, if you kick one time here, one time here, one time here, and go back here, it's gonna take longer. And one of those kicks, if you make a mistake and step in, instead of stepping out, he's going to catch you with a punch. So be very careful, guys, that you step out when you do the leg kick. And also, when you do the leg kick, if you do it the right way, you know you're safe, right? You know that you're safe. If you do it right, you don't have to worry about getting countered. And that gives you a type of belief in your technique and a type of confidence in your technique that makes your technique that much more effective and that much more better, actually. So when you throw it, you know nothing, nothing's going to happen because you, because you cover all the bases. So make sure you step out, you kick, and then you do your counter. Okay, guys, so um, I just showed you guys the outside leg kick, how to throw it, how to set it up, and how not to do it. Then I showed you guys uh, the inside leg kick, how to throw it, how not to throw it, and how to set it up. It's very important, guys, that the leg kicks are done properly. Otherwise, the risk-reward thing, if you don't do it the right way, is way too good. Risk is way too big for the reward. So it's not worth it to step in and throw a leg kick, even if you have a catch and hurt him, it's not worth being knocked out for. So make sure you do it the right way and create a strong belief in your technique. If you do the technique the right way, you're good. You don't have to worry about anything. So uh, my goal is with this video to show you guys that leg kicks are not dangerous if you throw it the right way. And they're very hurtful if you throw it at the same place over and over again, your accuracy. Uh, super important, guys, that you're accurate with throwing your leg kicks at the same spot over and over again. That being said, um, I think that's enough for now. Uh, I told you guys everything that you need to know about throwing a leg kick and setting up a leg kick. Uh, hope you guys like the video and see you guys soon. Thank you.